Hello everybody, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic host of Bachelor of Recap. Uh, guys, review, it's Colton Underwood O'Clock. Third video today, if you didn't already go back and catch part one and part two, uh, we've already got TMZ finding uh, the paparazzi over at TMZ. I've already gotten a uh, quick glimpse of Colton just after his interview, and it's announced on TMZ that Colton will be doing a Netflix series. As we know, uh, two or three days ago, I made a video about this. There's been a rumor that actually started on Demois' Instagram account where a bunch of unsubstantiated rumors are placed. You know, a broken clock is right twice a day, they say. And the rumor said that he's got a documentary coming out. This was before, of course, it was announced that he would be going on Good Morning America. And I have to tell you, he's got some great representation. I wasn't going to talk about this till later, but, I, you know, if you go look over at IMDb Pro, which is a what, uh, as an actor, you pay to have so you can get all the emails and phone numbers here. He's uh, uh, managed by Artists First and repped by IM ICM Partners, one of the largest agencies in the world. So clearly, they know what they're doing, folks. They knew what they were doing. They used crisis PR because they've got to get Colton from being one of the most hated people in Bachelor Nation because he stalked and harassed his ex-girlfriend and put a tracking device on her car and, you know, created a ra a wrath, if you will, a toxic wrath. How do we go from there to a Netflix deal? Well, he comes out of the closet. So he can be speaking his truth. We can celebrate him coming out of the closet, but also hold him accountable towards the uh, harm he caused Cassie and also pretty much anyone who's been a victim of either uh, domestic violence or stalking uh, or both. Uh, so hopefully Colton speaks more about this tonight. He'll be on prime time, uh, to finish the third part of his interview. Uh, but this story just breaks on TMZ Colton Underwood, uh, Colton Underwood, reality TV star, again, Netflix series about coming out. So they had the package set up. They got the good morning America interview off their chest. And now comes a Netflix series. Um, a lot of people are not happy that Colton will be monetizing his platform, which was built in one way or another off of the backs of people that he stalked, uh, namely Cassie Randolph in, 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 in that whole scenario. So again, like I said, he's got to address that fully, fully address the stalking, the creating the fake phone numbers, to harass her, I know where you are type of thing. I mean, real psychotic stuff. He's going to have to address all that before he can move on with this documentary. Uh, like hard stop, that has to be addressed. We'll see if Robin uh, Roberts uh, mentions that tonight on the final part of the interview. I'm sort of holding with, I'm holding my breath here, just waiting to see how the rest of the interview goes before I can properly criticize or commend. Not that Colton will get much commending. I think this, um, this conversation should have happened a long time ago, speaking about Cassie. With regards to him coming out of the closet, everyone at their own pace. Update, 9.49 a.m. We just got Colton out in New York City, and his face really does say it all. You can see his happiness. Here's Colton Underwood, what appears to be leaving his uh, uh, some sort of interview, and this is him in New York City. Colton, how's it going, man? Good, how are you? For, first and foremost, I just want to congratulate and applaud you, man. Um, it's, a, it's amazing what you did. I want to know how you feel, man. How do you feel about your truth being out now? Uh, I feel awesome and free and happy. You look happy, so, man. There's been an I outpouring know. of support from Bachelor Nation, from celebrities, man. Has, has anyone reached out to you that surprised oh, you the most? Colorado, it's all been great. It's all been love. Yeah. yeah. So. What's What's next for Colton, man? We know you're doing a Netflix show. Hi, Colton. We love you. Hi, Colton. Fair enough, man. Have a great trip, man. Thank you. So that was a no comment on the Netflix show. No comment on that. But he says he feels happy. He feels free. And right you should. Right, you should. Like I said, we're good at walking and chewing gum over here at the YouTube channel so we can criticize the Cassie situation. But also say, congrats, man. Congrats on feeling happy and free. And let's, um, let's use that good karma and that good energy to right some wrongs. I think he will. I've said this all. I've said all along. I don't think he'll address the Cassie situation. I think he'll just bury it. He'll move on with his life and then hope it dies down. But now, given that there'll be a Netflix documentary, now given the fact that he's going to be sharing his story by getting off of his chest the what 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 can seem to be insurmountable news uh, or or secret that you are gay by getting that off his chest by coming out. One hopes that he says, you know what, that felt really good. Let's keep talking about all the dark things. Let's keep shining light into the dark corners. As I always say, 
light, you know, light is the uh, great, or what is it? Uh, light is the greatest disinfectant. I don't know, whatever the situation is. Let's just hope that uh, by focusing on his authentic self, he's able to kind of right a lot of wrongs. It won't come easy. TMZ has learned the former Bachelor star has had a film crew following him for the past few weeks and the show, focusing on his life as a gay man, and it will air on Netflix. We're told several other prominent members of the LBGTQ plus community have been in Colton's corner throughout this process, such as his friend Olympian Gus Kenworthy, and will make appearances alongside him in the series. As we've reported, Underwood opened about opened up about his sexuality, revealing he's gay to Robin Roberts on Good Morning America. He said, I've ran for myself for a long time. I've hated myself for a long time, and I'm gay. And I came to terms with that earlier this year, and I've been processing it. And the next step in all of this was sort of letting people know. He is definitely in good shape. Wow, if I could just see an ab in my 30s. Colton says his struggle with being gay got so bad that he contemplated suicide, but fortunately he had an epiphany and decided to take control of his life. We reached out to Colton's rep. So far, no word back. Well, there you have it, folks. And also, my good friends over at BachelorNation.Scoop unearthed, uh, probably with the help of Reddit, unearthed this clip. Let's play this clip. If you don't if you don't get to see it, it's because YouTube blocked it. Sometimes YouTube will block things. But how about this little uh, ironic clip from Billy Eichner? Eichner? No, the first thing I do, I'm gay. I know that's a shock, Colton. <laughs> and that I think you should look into. Maybe you're the first gay bachelor and we don't even know. I, I, no. <laughs> Put that in your promo. See you later. <laughs> wow. Criteria that... Now, Billy, Billy could have had no idea, you know, in that scenario. But uh, you do, you do feel bad for Colton, thinking that. I mean, it, it, it is weird, right? To go, oh, did he know? Did he, you know? He said earlier in the interview that by becoming the next Bachelor, that was sort of his way of feeling validated as a straight man by being like, okay, if if I can go on this heterosexual dating show, I guess I'm straight. I, they chose me. I guess I'm straight. And so for to have this lingering thing, it's almost like I hate to relate it this way, but it's like. I had this cavity for a long time and <laughs> my fiance kept on yelling at me to go to the dentist and I refused. I was like, I'm not going to the dentist. There's no cavity. I'm fine. And then eventually I went to the dentist and he was like, what the heck, man? And I was like, oh, and then I, they, they had to pull my tooth, right? It was, it was, it was, it was too bad. It was gone. But uh, this isn't about me, but the point of the story is I left there feeling, wow, I wish I did that sooner, but you just, you just, uh, you know, don't rake me over the coals here for comparing his coming out to my getting a cavity. But the point is, is that you don't know how to address something. And sometimes you just bury it until you have that cocoon moment where the caterpillar can no longer be a caterpillar and it metamorphoses, metamorphosizes into a butterfly. Wow. Third video before noon. I'm having a hard time speaking. Um, so yeah, we walk and chew gum. We're happy for Colton, but at the same time, we'll have to see how the interview tonight goes. God knows we need to see it. Quick comment here. Can we get Billy to be Chris Harrison's replacement? Oh, that's an interesting one. Uh, someone says, well, this could have been resolved way earlier if he just camped with Billy Eichner that night instead of the red team. Yeah. Wow, that would have been interesting, right? If Billy Eichner uh, had him come out a couple years ago, that would have uh, saved us all a lot of time here. But um, some people have left comments. I read your comments. Some people have left comments and say, hey, Dave, you know, are you a little obsessed with Colton? Do you, uh, do you know, why do you keep talking about this? You know, yada, yada, yada. I think most people understand that this is a little bit bigger than just him as an individual. This is his platform. This is him not getting away with, uh, abusing and stalking your ex. This is about um, doing what's right, atoning for it. Uh, you know, you know, uh, earning back the trust before you continue on with your platform. You know, a lot of people say, "Oh, bury him. Why never want to hear from him again? Deplatform him." That ain't gonna happen. That's just not gonna happen. So you might as well have him address to his platform where he went wrong and what he can do to be better, line by line. This is like being audited, right? Line by line, address the cell phone that you made up and stalked your ex with, you know, saying you were somebody else and he stalked himself. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go back to my old videos. I, I read them. It's psychotic. Address the, you know, address the uh, tracking device that Cassie's brother found taped to, the, taped to her car. She dropped the charges. You're not going to be charged for this crime. So you might as well address it. You know, and this crime of tracking someone's car in California serves up to 365 days in prison. This is no joke, folks. He committed this crime. So while we embrace him coming out and, you know, pursuing his true identity, 
we want this conversation to go deeper. We expect it to happen tonight, but we'll have to see. I'll be watching this Netflix documentary. You can choose not to. You know, God knows I steal my Netflix account from like seven other people and uh, we'll all be watching it. You ever get on Netflix and you, you're saving $9 a month and you're like, don't know where you left off on a show because someone else watched it. And all of a sudden you click on it and it's like the Game of Thrones finale. And you're like, I'm only on season two. Well, anyway, for Netflix, for Colton, we'll have to see how this goes. Assuming this will probably air in the fall. I'm assuming it'll be very uplifting, very inspirational, but... For those that don't know his story, we can't pass go. We can't collect $200. We we have a hard stop at addressing the issues of the past year. So let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment. I'll be making a video. I'm sure I'm getting tons of voicemails. 401-213-9828. We'll have a video this afternoon going up about Colton Underwood. What you guys think, you guys know, I love hearing from Bachelor Nation. Uh, he was uh, caught by the paparazzi here. He's uh, back to living his... Uh, whatever form of an authentic life he has now. And I encourage us all to do the same dance like nobody's watching. We'll see you guys later on. And of course, tomorrow, live stream 4 p.m. Bye, everybody.